Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we're going to talk about coupling bolt and in today's topic I will tell you about the poison ratio and what are the difference between the normal fitted bolt, oversized bolt and taper fitted bolt and why the poison ratio thing comes into the picture and how we develop pilgrim nut and how it has been used in coupling bolt attachment and where what are the other places where we can use this pilgrim nut design so let's start the video but before starting the video i want to tell you that i have made video regarding the propeller covering each and every topic from thrust pad to thrust block plane bearing sharp bearing everything you can go to the place and you can watch that i will also give the link in the description box let's begin the video of the coupling bolt so if anybody asks you that what are the coupling bolt so first let me show you where the, this coupling bolt is used so as you can see this propeller is attached to this main engine to this shaft this shaft is not continuous it has been intermediate okay and it has been attached with the help of this flange this flange is been attached with the help of a bolt this bolt is called coupling bolt okay now the thing is with that is here that why we are so much worried about this coupling bolt because these are the main thing which are helping in transmission of the thrust to the thrust block which is ultimately giving it to the hull if there is a friction or fretting is happening here then it may cause disattachment of the propeller from the shaft and the whole thing fail hence it is very necessary that a good fitting is obtained for that reason the poison ratio comes into the pictures so what is the poison ratio first we need to understand that so the poison issue can be say like that the elongation of a bolt when tightened causes a reduction in cross sectional area so as we know if we elongate if we stretch anything it will cause a reduction in cross sectional area okay the relationship between the change in length and the change in cross sectional area can be explained by the poison ratio so what is poison ratio poison ratio can be said as a lateral strain this is a lateral strain by longitudinal strain longitudinal strain is this and this is a lateral strain this is called poison ratio okay now what are the problem we are encountering with the normal fitted bolt so suppose in a clearance bolt there is not a problem but with a normal fitted bolt positive contact between the accurately machine bolt and the rim hole is lost when the bolt is tightened okay so this is here as you can see this is a normal fitted bolt now when it is tightened the positive contact is lost okay and it is impossible to accurately machine a bolt to a perfection so upon a period of time it will ultimately because of fitting it will cause a problem so to overcome this we came up with the end solution we are fitting a oversized bolt an oversized bolt could of course be used and cooling of the shank probably with liquid nitrogen would be necessary to cause contraction and reduction of cross sectional area before insertion this effect of low temperature and possibility of steel becoming brittle as a result of cooling must be considered so first what we have done first we have fit, come up with a normal fitted bolt and after that we have encountered that the problem with the accurately machining after that we came up with the idea of oversized bolt but how we are fitting this oversized bolt what we are doing we are with this oversized bolt is been fit by cooling means when we cool this bolt 
there will be a reduction in cross sectional area and after cooling we are inserting it and then when it comes to a normal ambient temperature it will expand and it will provide a interference fit but the problem now is not with the good fit now the problem arises because of cooling as we are cooling with the help of a liquid nitrogen the steel will become brittle and it may develop a crack not only that because of the fitting of oversized bolt a good interference fit is obtained but the end point is subjected to a good amount of stress and it may develop a crack over a period of time also okay now so again a failure means first we have fitted normal fitted bolt with a positive contact is a failure because of accurately machining second we are fitting oversized bolt but we are getting a good fit but the problem is with the brittleness of the steel and getting cracked so we came up with a third solution is the taper section okay we are using a taper section bolt coupling bolt as an alternative because it would not only provide a good interference fit and it would also help enable to be machine easily and thirdly it can be it doesn't causing overstressed and doesn't involve any cooling so to a certain extent it is a successful but we came up with another good idea soft coupling bolt are tightened to force the face of a flange together so that friction between the face will provide some proportion of the drive however fitted bolt shank are also designed to take some load a clearance bolt could provide the first requirement what is the first requirement the transmission of the force but not the second the fitted shank bolt should also designed to take some load the clearance bolt couldn't take the load a normal fitted bolt when tightened and subjected to a reduction in cross section would also fail on a second count and probably be damaged by fitting a taper bolt could be used instead of a conventional coupling bolt to obtain a good fit and require tightening so as i have told you earlier this coupling bolt is very crucial because it is helping in transmission of the thrust to the thrust block so the shank the shank is also taking a load and good interference fit is also transmitting the load so in normal fitted bolt in normal fitted bolt obtaining a good interference fit is not a problem but the shank taking up the load is a problem but in a taper section we are in coming up with both problem and we are favoring this design because it is not only providing taper section of only providing good interference fit but also the shank is able to take up the load how actually as the load will come it will provide more grip because it will more slide in and it will provide more grip okay the inclined section will provide more grip and will take more load okay now the concept of pilgrim nut came up because of these problems the what is a pilgrim nut and why we are this why we have designed pilgrim nut the pilgrim nut bolt uses a principle embedded in the poisson ratio to provide a calculated and defined fitting force between the bolt and the hole so now what we are doing as i have told you in convectional coupling bolt the problem was not with the interference fit means when we are fitting a oversized bolt we were doing a good job we were obtaining a good interference fit which are very good for the load transmission friction transmission but what the method which we are using for the oversized bolt was a liquid nitrogen or cooling method which was causing the brittleness in the steel to avoid that we have come up with a modification in design which is called pilgrim nut what we have done 
in pilgrim nut we have made the nut hollow and we are elongating the nut with the help of a hydraulic jack and as we are elongating it as you know if we apply a longitudinal strain it will cause the reduction in the lateral strain means if we increase the increase in cross sectional area will cause the decrease in cross sectional this area and hence it will ultimately cause the reduction in the size of the bolt and hence an oversized bolt could be installed in this coupling bolt and after that it is been tightened and the pressure is released as the pressure is released it will have a good interference fit and as you can see there is no involvement of the cooling method therefore it doesn't loses is bitterness now the question asks why we are coming up why we have studied poison issue poison issue is very important because we need to know that how much stress we are going to apply so that we can stretch the bolt to that extent that it doesn't loses its elasticity doesn't go to the plastic region and doesn't have a problem of the other thing okay let's see there the bolt is hollow and before being fitted is stretched with a hydraulic pressure applied to an inserted rod from a pressure cylinder screwed to the bolt head so as you can have told you the bolt is hollow and it is been applied hydraulically jacked okay stretching make the bolt diameter small enough for insertion into the hole after which the nut is nipped up release of hydraulic pressure allow the bolt to shorten first predetermined bolt load is produced second dramatically re expansion give a good fit of a sank in hole so here comes the picture of the poison ratio poison ratio is helping us to determine the predetermined bolt load and second it also give us the idea of dramatic re expansion which will provide a good fit okay so with the help of the pilgrim nut design this bolt when used in the flange coupling and flange mounted propeller have a advantage that they can be easily removed for inspection and maintenance purpose so as you can see here that this design has helped us to overcome the three problem first problem is that it doesn't involve cooling second is that it doesn't getting over stretch the third thing is that it doesn't provide any sort of fitting problem because it is having a good interference fit okay so in a synopsis you can say that this hollow bolt is been jack with the help of a arrangement and after as it is in jack there will be reduction in cross sectional area which will help to slide in easily and as the pressure will be released it will be have obtain a good interference fit this is the two coupling flange okay so i hope in this video you understand that what are the problem we encountered with the conventional coupling bolt and normal fitted bolt and how we come up with the solution so if you like the video please do hit the like button and please to subscribe and please say please friend share with our marine college friends share with our class 4 class 3 students so that they can come to know about this platform and they can share because i am making this video with lot of effort and i want so that it can be able to reach to lots of you so that we can come on this platform and discuss if any fault talk or if any other thing which you want i will make please do share please do like immense it goes to magjos thank you friend have a good day